Hey everybody and welcome to another HowTech video tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to record the screen on Android. So to get started we're going to go to the Play Store. And the best screen recorder I've found is called Easy Screen Recorder. Or Easy Screen Quarter, something like that. But it's this one right here. No ads in parentheses. But you can install it from this menu, update it, whatever, or open it. And now I'm going to move on to some screenshots because I'm already using the screen recording software and, and it doesn't actually show up in frame. So it starts off when you open it, you'll see this little tiny camera icon in the top left. And you can drag this little icon wherever you want. And if you tap it, it opens up this little menu. And from here you have a few different options. They're pretty much self-explanatory. The first one is the recording button. Second one you can take screenshots with. The third icon there with a the little face on it is so you can sort of stick your face in frame on the camera as you're recording. The little folder icon there just goes to your designated folder with all your videos or screenshots. And the final icon in that list is the settings icon. We're going to go ahead and go over there. And the most important options here are the video resolution and the video frame rate. I left mine at 1920 by 1080, but you also have the option for 2560 by 1440 and some other options there if you want. I've kept the video frame rate at 30 FPS. If you're recording video game footage, then you might want to keep it at 60 FPS, although you want to make sure that it you have a decent phone for that. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty pretty laggy, especially if you're playing a game. So finally, if you want to close this app, and you don't want that little tiny camera icon on your screen anymore, just tap it and click the little X at the bottom. This will actually exit the program instead of just, you know, closing the menu. It'll completely exit the program, which is very handy and nice. And whenever you need to record the screen, you just open the application back up and it'll give you that little camera icon again. So after you start recording, you'll come up with this little message over here. It'll start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. You can either not show it again, or you can start now, which is what I will do. So if you start this now, you'll notice that the little camera icon disappears. And to actually stop the recording, you just swipe down from the top, and you'll see a little message there by Easy Screen Quarter, and it says tap here to stop recording. And so you just tap that and it completes and finishes the recording. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.